Yes, welcome to MGD TV and my name is Jacob Junior Mungesi, but you can call me JJ for the case of saving your time. <laughs> we are in a digital world where to, uh, people do not want to waste their time. So instead of telling them a full status as your name, you can just easily tell them, give them the abbreviation or the acronym of your name and just say, I am JJ. <laughs> so for the case of Wembo Habib, eh. I have to say BH. BH. HB. It's actually HB. <laughs> so you say, I am HB. <laughs> and then those who want to know your full name will be like, please, what is HB in full? And then you'll be like, I'm now, I'm how Wembo Habib. Habib. Oh. Habib. Yeah, otherwise, welcome to MGD TV, and this is the PowerPoint show. It has been long since we last had this show, and it has also been long since we last had Wembo on this particular show. I hope you people have been, uh, have been good and you're still doing good. And I also expect that you'll be doing good even tomorrow and all the other days to go. That is a, this day is a whatever that is trending, that Mutonzo Wafe Akolachi. Yeah, yeah, Salao. So let me hope <laughs> yeah. that uh, the Creator will decide for us good. Mm -hmm. For believers like me, the Bible tells us that uh, God always wishes us good. He's somebody who always wants us to be good yeah. all the time. And yeah. so we believe we shall always be fine. So, Wembo, you're most welcome. Thank you. Yeah. And it is always a pleasure for me mm. when I'm hosted by MGD. MGD, right. Yeah. So. <laughs> It has been a long time without you hosting me. True. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> we shall also get to know why he has not been here in today's stories. <laughs> but today I'm here. Yeah, today you're here. Yeah. And uh, I hope uh, our dear viewers outside there, I know some of you have been asking, where is Buembo, where is Buembo? And some of you last saw him on the screens when he was arrested. And others have been asking, is he out? Is he out? Now, I didn't inform you that he was coming. I had to just bring him by the surprise, and today he is here. Now, Wembo, tell me how you've been doing, how everything has been doing during that period. Habibu has been fine. Mm. Uh, though some times back he has been in his second home in life. <laughs> You know, to any life of an activist, mm. most so political activist, you know me, I'm both a human rights activist, activist and, and a, a political, political activist. activist. Yeah, right. It is hard to dodge prison. Prison. It is hard to dodge police cells. So, to some of us who who resolve that uh, activism is part of our lives, mm. uh, we take prisons as, as a second, second home. Home. Yeah. Now I don't know so, what's my second home. <laughs> <laughs> is it church? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, is it church? I think you studio, know, you can, you can, you cannot, home. of course, spend the night in a church. <laughs> uh, but to, with a prison, yeah. a day, night, mm. days, nights, mm. week, a week, weeks, and uh, sometimes you can be there for, for a year. Mm. Yeah, so I've been in prison mm. for the last uh, uh, in the previous month of mm. July, mm. Uh, only to be charged with, do you know what? Common nuisance. Common nuisance. Yes. And that's where I want us to begin from. Yeah. Uh, before, during that period when we were away, I remember it was, uh, it was which month? This is, we are in, uh, we September. in September. It was in uh, July. July. Mm. When 20, you had 20, parliament, you remember I everything you understand. Yes. <laughs> you remember even the cell, the cell you were in because uh, yes, I, I think we're coming was, out and you're telling I us was even the cell you were in. to Kampala CPS. Yeah. Uh, when I reached Kampala CP, uh, CPS, mm. then uh, there are those barbarian offic <laughs> officers. <laughs> uh, the OC said to be specific, mm. he came and picked me from the cell, police mm. cells and took me to a certain office. Mm. And he, he was like, he, after having profiled to you, mm. we detected that, we found out that you have a beef, a serious beef with the person of the speaker. And it are more. So they were trying to bring that so, again in the yeah. police. So you must be the ringleader to mm. these groups that have demonstrated today. And mm. he, I think you are much aware that it, it wasn't me. Mm. who led the team mm. because the, 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 the whole cause was 
leaderless and that's what it was tribalist mm. it was fearless mm. and uh, battleless battleless now that's so uh, for him he put he he put so uh, he puts on uh, he puts it on me mm. that it's me who was leading the the, 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 the demonstration yes so they started torturing me. and and that's why i want us to pick it from uh, pick it from like when they were, these demonstrations were coming, I remember there was an online campaign first. Yeah. And they were like, this is a demonstration, it is a protest that is battleless, yes. leaderless, edgeless, religionless, tribeless, regionless. Mm. So everything was less, 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 less. less, less. less yeah. And now, uh, after saying everything was less, 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 it is assumed that most or the majority of the people that participated in these demonstrations were people from the NUP party or the People Power Movement. And there were other people first of all the call was to the public yes it was to the public Ugandans. yes it was to the public and the of, but, of whom NUP supporters and members and leaders yes, are also yes. Ugandans and they are part of yes, the public you, you, the only and campaign. the cause was to fight against corruption whose money that is being corrupted mm. the taxpayers, the taxpayers. Money. and the NUP supporters and members and leaders mm. are also taxpayers so when Buembo is coming out to fight against corruption or to fight against the mismanagement of uh, the taxes, uh, I regard myself as a taxpayer number one. So can you justify the assumptions that the people who took part in these uh, demonstrations were uh, people from NUP and it is believed that they were from NUP, that even majority of the ex spaces that were held Hmm. were dominated by the NUP supporters, the NUP leaders, and, you know? You know, with, uh, with that uh, kind of uh, understanding, mm. I cannot dispute it, because mm. it is well known that the majority of Ugandans are mm. NUP. <laughs> <laughs> that is crystal clear. So, if you paraded uh, randomly about 100 people here, mm. Uh, and you start uh, you start ask, asking them which party they belonged or they supported. Mm. You find that it's about seventy five percent. But uh, uh, but when it. but when NRM, so I did no, not take no, I, I want first whatever dispute what you're saying yes. because if you say that NUP has majority of the members, mm. we all know that NRM during uh, the time they had the campaign of uh, of updating their registers, they had over. 18 million Ugandans as members of the party. <laughs> and then but NUP right of now, recent was revealed you that you had a... <laughs> look. Uh, NRM's address. You know NRM are liars. No, look. They, and, are, uh, they have lied this nation for so mm, long. And, and, and NUP, eh? according to NUP, you have over, is it 11? 11, 11 million members? Uh, yes. And our so, registration has been witnessed everywhere. And you see the difference? Did you 18 witness, million, 11 you, million. Did you witness... The, the NRM's registration anyway. The yellow books were at the village level. Uh, at your village, you, did you see that, that registration exercise taking place? I was not in, in the village. In the schools you have been attending, I have was, you had any students saying that I have registered with NRM? Uh, how many, when NUP enrolled in this exercise, um, how many of your colleagues uh, are at, uh, like acknowledged you that uh -huh. I've registered and uh, now I'm uh, a, a, a holder of NUP, NUP. Uh, membership card. Even everywhere in the communities that you were uh, maybe uh, living, mm. you, you witnessed the exercise taking place and people parading mm. to have themselves uh, a membership card of the NUP. So for us, when we say we have registered 11 members, mm. at least it has been organic. Mm. And it has been witnessed. Okay. When NRM says 18 members, mm. we keep asking ourselves, mm. where did they register these numbers from? Okay. So we, I, I want to say that NRM are liars, mm. and it is not good to come on such a show, a show of uh, uh, MGD, and we start uh, discussing even their lies. Okay, they are liars, but that's not justifiable. <laughs> but uh, the good now. news I want to give you yeah. is that uh, in our demonstration, there were some NRMs mm. who participated, NRM youth. 
For example, a son to Hassan Kasinje. Do you know Hassan Kasinje? Hassan Kasinje. Yes. This is former. The former. IGP. He it? was a. I think he. He was a spokesperson of police. Oh, Hassan, Hassan Kasinje. Hassan Kasinje, right? He also served as an Interpol, an Interpol police director, uh, sometimes back. So they sent him. Mm. Participated and I, uh, we shared a prison with him. Mm. We are together in prison because of the demonstration. Why? Even NRMs are disgruntled with the corruption and the mismanagement of taxes, mm. uh, the taxpayers' money. Uh, so when the call came that he let us all rise up mm. and say no to this corruption. Mm. They also participated. But did, like, did you achieve anything from the demonstrations? Why not? We have achieved a lot. Like? And now, would we be discussing this if we, it, was, it wasn't achieved? No, that is discussing it because uh, one, it's trended and... One, it has caused public awareness. Today, everywhere you go, in churches, in mm. markets, in uh, border, border rider stages, in mm. garages, everywhere you go. Nobody doesn't know that there is corruption in the country. Mm. And the, a fight to corruption has to be treated, uh, to, uh, or, uh, it has to be managed mm. in a way we fought COVID-19. Do you remember that fight of COVID-19? Yeah. We had a lot of uh, restrictions around, we had a lot of cautions, uh, even some measures that were put by the state itself, a local down, uh, movement controls, mm. then uh, wash your hands, do what. Yeah, but all the, the yes, SOPs. but all the measures were put by the government. Yes, uh -huh. and now, it is our but, fight. But we, now, we are yes. fighting. Too. And now, in your fight right now, yes. the president himself comes out and disagrees with you on one of the people that you people mm. allege mm. that is the head or the chief of corruption. So, for you, like, Adita must resign yes. because she's the chief. No, no, no. Museven hasn't disagreed with us on that. Because it is Museven himself who wrote a letter to the to parliament, mm. to the speaker. And he affirmed that I have evidence that there is a lot of corruption mm. in parliament and the minister of finance. Mm. It is only that Museven fears to act because once he acts, he may find himself so he himself also uh, being netted, you know, because he's the chief corrupt. Uh, corrupt. Seven, most of the corruption scandals ends with him, starts with him and ends with him. You remember the report by the former IGG, mm. uh, Justice Irene Muriagonja, when he said. That most of the people that he chases, he chases, she chases mm. those who are corrupt, ends up hiding in the back of the president. What does, does that mean? That he, maybe these people steal the taxpayers' mm. money on behalf of him or steals for him. You remember of recent those who uh, who stole the Kalamajong iron sheets. How did they get off the hook? But, but and none of them right now are still in prison. Uh, but uh, even those who were never been tried anywhere, mm. how did they get off the, the hook? Museven himself wrote to, 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 to uh, DPP. Mm. And he was like, you know, uh, go through on these people. And, Let and us uh, see how uh, we can politically manage them. Uh, and now moving on, on to, and that now takes us to, uh, uh, to the case of Honor Wompuga. Because even Ugandans came out and were trying to, uh, how should I say it? They were saying Mpuga, what Puga did receiving the money received from Parliament mm. was an act of corruption. Yes. And uh, the case and we are went still to court. asserting on the same. You're still asserting. Yes. But the course of uh, the court, we know what came out. Have of court. you read the, the the judgment of court? I read partially the, what the judgment that uh -huh. came from court. How did it conclude? But then, other than <laughs> the court say you see, the money was illegally was illegally given to him, out, yes. and is now the, is it the clerk to parliament that the was, ground of their of their uh, statement that it was illegally 
issued out mm. uh, was based on on the fact that it is the duty of the commission of the commission of parliament mm. to manage the business in, in the house but court also asked of uh, uh, with, with a lot of money that is paid to MPs, mm. how comes the, then that they were given other monies in the names of service award? And that's how it concluded by tasking, mm. uh, or by, 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 by uh, uh, like uh, tasking the clerk parliament mm. to be answerable to all these messages. But I see contradictions in the judgment because. Like saying, how ca uh, I want to know the basis on which the uh, the judges made it final that uh, the clerk to parliament was now liable <laughs> yes. to the case of corruption instead of the person who received the money. So I want to know, do, should we say that the quality of, because Honorable Mpuga is uh, an educated man, hmm. he cannot just receive money anyhow. -ly. I really want to know how he came to receive it without you knowing see, where it was coming from the of process all, of receiving it. As members of NUP, our, uh, our, uh, our question around that money was, if you are, you've been a leader of opposition, opposing the government and calling uh, for accountability from the same, mm. what, what was it that they were paying? Mm. All awarding you for mm. is it that, that because they they termed it a service award, service award which yeah. service did you offer to them so that they give you this award in return? Up to date, that question has never been. Answered. What if service award is just is given on the basis that you occupy that office? Yes, but you see, they they made it a personal. Uh, 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 pass, uh, uh, you, you, you it, mean it started with Mpuga and stopped with Mpuga? Ah, ah. It does not extend to any other leader who occupies that office. You mean you mean it was written that it has only to be given yes. to Mpuga, not? Yes, you go and read the minutes well. It started with him and it stopped see, with, with him. him. And uh, another concern is uh, uh, the, the four who were given that money mm. are not the only who composes the commission. There are more other officers who composes the commission, the commission. of parliament. Yeah. For example, the the, 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 the uh, he was the rope then maybe the prime minister. Yeah. Then minister of uh, finance. Uh, the, all those are part of the commission. The commission. Of parliament. Yes. The deputy speaker, Tayewa, did he also receive? Why? So this was money that he was given with ill intentions <laughs> and up to date mm. the the person who awarded it also anita among mm. cannot also explain its purpose other than me are saying yes we had we have we have the authority we had powers to give mm. out but they cannot explain exactly which service mm. were they paying for and, and and now i want to now to ask you how far with the essential motion of those commissioners who were victims of that scandal of course you you see uh the chief who corrupt in that parliament is the speaker mm. and it among and when a motion is suggested it is still hard to fix it allocate it time mm. and you you have seen how she's playing around it and how she's fighting it down first of all when a motion is pre is registered with the clerk parliament uh it is given 14 days within which it has to be allocated for a debate mm -hmm. uh, before the elapse of 14 days then now the influenced court to give give the judgment that uh, bastard judgment <laughs> bastard. it is a confusing one because yourself, you have also said it is contradictive. Mm. Yeah? How do you now choose the clerk and you, you exonerate the, <laughs> the people who took the money? Mm. So it is still it is confusing. Uh, then after, let after, we saw a letter from the speaker herself mm. writing to the move of the motion, mm. Honorable Sechkubo, mm. uh, saying now we cannot uh, uh, contact. Court, court ruling. Yeah. The court has already 
ruled on the same. We cannot have this motion. Mm -hmm. But that is not the procedure of also stopping a motion mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in the house. Eh? It had to come to the plenary, then it be uh, ruled out on the grounds that, uh, that uh, they may give. And uh, it goes, it gets a record on the hazard of the parliament. This hasn't been done. That's why the movers are still insisting mm. that their motion must see the light of the day. And uh, they have my support. Mm. They have my support as well. So, yeah, t talking of uh, Sechikubo's uh, Sechikubo insisting on, on, before, the, on the motion. Before his more. insistence, mm. uh, if we scrutinize the also... Uh, the speaker's ground mm -hmm. of uh, fearing to, contra to contempt court. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when they censured Honorable Zake, Zake from yeah. the Commission of Parliament? Honorable Zake ran to court. And he did. Court ruled. Made, yeah, that it ruled in his he favor. Was censured. And the court ordered for his restoration. Uh, what has been done? And that's a question I want so, to have you. So, <laughs> if the speaker says she so much respects the court and its yeah. rulings, why isn't she respecting the, co the court's ruling in case of Honore Kozake? So, that, that shows you how much uh, uh, the parliamentary officials are fighting hard to protect mm. corruption in the House. And that arrives us on the uh, 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 on the decision of mm. choosing Anita Mong being the chief corrupt official in in that house. Okay, I want us to run away from that and just briefly talk about these regional parliaments, where we uh, uh, we had we saw them in uh, in Gulu, mm. and even the president himself uh, had also to present himself there physically. And uh, people, of course, uh, this, the, the, this idea of the regional parliaments uh, was accompanied with a lot of criticism from people, especially those in opposition, because the leader of opposition actually had to advise his colleagues not to attend. But of course, we saw some, and even members of parliament who belong to your party also. You part saw of some, those who have always been contradictory. Uh, uh, so, contradictive. The, uh, the, the Buanica, so any just viable reasons for not attending uh, the regional parliament? You see, considering the uh, economic hardship in the country, mm. it was uh, with the wisdom of the, uh, the LOP, mm. lead of opposition, was like, we are going to spend a lot of money in these sittings. So we can still save money when we uh we maintain the status quo we use the house of kampara and manage issues to do with uh, issues in those regions uh and uh, according to his statement he was like uh five billion was proposed for each sitting True. you need to to recall that during that time the medics the internship, uh, the medical the internees, uh, internees yes. yeah. we are striking, we are striking, calling for their allowance, allowances, and mm. the government said uh, even had, deployment. Others they were striking for not being deployed. Actually, being deployed, and the government was giving a reason of not deploying them, being lack of money. Money. True. How much money was needed? Eighteen billion. Now we are going to spend uh, twenty billion yeah. just for a parliamentary nyege nyege. You've called it nyege yes. nyege. Yes. Have you been following nyege nyege in the Busoga? What? Which purpose does it serve? Entertainment. Entertainment and tourism. Tourism. But maybe, tourism, tourism is a good thing. Yes, but uh, tour, touring is done at the right time, you know. And those who tours are those who have saved it some kamane for that purpose but the same government which is crying of lack of money to mm. deploy to to, to deploy internee medical internees mm. uh, can't be the same government now uh, uh calling mps to go and tour <laughs> <The> region, <laughs> regions mm. you know because i asked myself how is it to be different from the usual sittings mm. One, 
parliament has always been sitting in Kampala, in its parliamentary house, in the enclosed, they enclosed themselves there and, and, and run business. Still, the same arrangement was happening in, in, was happening in Ikuru. There are, there are only MPs who were crossed in Kaunda grounds discussing business as usual as it has been happening in, in Kampala. Mm -hmm. So why should we meet those extra expenses just for... That's why I call it they were there, they toured. Now let them account for the benefits. Good enough, one sitting has happened. How did the region benefit? That's what we have to ask ourselves before even we, they commence for another sitting in either central or eastern. I see no impact. And in the end, for us who are anti corruption, uh, we are still assessing mm. we are about to give a report how they have uh, used the same arrangement of sittings to now to, 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 to cause a lot of uh, other corruptions that we don't know whether they are causing more corruption or but you never know the people of Gula are fine with it because they have not come out to over complain about it that we don't some want some few oh. some mm. few mm. like uh, when you ask People are contented with uh, the, this government. They are there. People are there who will say, ah, we are contented and we don't wish it mm. to, to go. Mm. But the majority are not. Are not. So there are some few, uh, of course, locals in Guru mm. who are so happy and who benefited, of course. Mm. Yes. But uh, when you are discussing national issues, you look at what benefits the majority. Okay, we are waiting to see what comes out of the regional parliaments from Gulu, uh, the central region, and then the eastern region, and the western region. We are waiting to see what will come out of those parliamentary sittings. You're still with me, Jacob Jr. Mungesi and Habib Wembo. Today we've driven you marathon, marathon. So we, I want to take you, as we are driving you marathon today, I want uh, Wembo to briefly talk about uh, the Bobby Wine's saga yesterday. Your president, your party president, mm -hmm. uh, was involved in a scandal that has, uh, you know, uh, actually occupied the whole of internet yesterday and even today. And we are asking ourselves what exactly happened. The police, of course, uh, whatever they report, but still there were questions on the report that was made. Uh, can you tell us what will really transpire? Because I know you're the people deep in the party. Yeah, one, it is uh, regrettable that we are in such a situation. Mm. Uh, you remember in 2005, mm. Uganda joined countries which are practicing party uh, mar dispensation. dispensation tree, yeah. NUP is a political party registered with the, with the state. Mm. And uh, in that regard, NUP has a constitutional duty to mobilize, organize its mm. members. Mm. It has a constitutional duty to cause, uh, to, to do public awareness, uh, civic awareness. Uh, so what happened yesterday, one, Bobby Wine, the president, had visited one of his lawyers. Mm. And the lawyer, George Musi, had a function, a thanksgiving function at his home. Uh, when, when the president was retri retrieving back home, police broke, 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 broke it. Mm. And he, he was asking, what is the purpose of breaking, uh, breaking us? In the, in the process, mm. he was shot with a, a tear gas can, a canister mm. in his leg. And the, this we we condemn it and we we say mm. police should stop uh, that brutality and uh, then we shall be getting more, much more update later and uh, we wish him a, a quick recovery now by the before you go i don't know have you heard of china tower 
Is it China? China town? China town. There is something trending and it's called China town. Uh, uh, it's it's singing, like a supermarket sir. and uh, they're selling goods at a very low price. I don't know whether you've heard about it. I've, I've, I've heard of it. <laughs> have you tried to go there? Social media. Have you tried I haven't to go there? gone there because, uh, like I've told you, mm. I've been down uh, mm. for since I was released from prison. Mm. I've been uh, uh, receiving treatment from some. Some, yeah. some people are. There are some voices saying that uh, Chinatown is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is is like a fight back from the government. They have brought these guys to try to manage these traders who uh, try to demonstrate. That. <laughs> <laughs> they are capable of doing anything. So, but uh, we pray that they uh, maybe they sustain it. Mm. They don't. They do not uh, let it be there for a week mm. for people to enjoy cheaper things and mm. then yeah, after, so they, mm, after causing the diversion they uh, they fail it mm. yeah because I've had people have been getting some uh, commodities at cheaper price mm. uh, if it is an initiative of government mm. we pray that uh, it's, it creates more Chinatowns or supermarkets <laughs> in every locality uh, <laughs> yeah uh, though mm. It may hurt some mm. traders. Of course. Because if all the buyers run to one center. Yeah, they are lining up. You know, I was at home. I was at home and uh, I had a friend, mm. a visitor who had visited me. And then uh, he calls me after some time. Uh, okay, he tells me I'm moving somewhere. I'm like, oh, where are you going? Mm. Like, I'm going to Logogo. So I'm like, okay. He goes and then later I'm scrolling on phone. I'm seeing Chinatown and <laughs> going to see where it's located, Logogo. So I call him and I'm like, man, where are you? Uh. Logogo. Where exactly? Chinatown. <laughs> but uh, you see, Ugandans are always excited mm. with some some new innovations. So, uh, you remember uh, at a time when, uh, was it... Uh, which which are another shop right uh, shop right yes shop right is shop right when shop right had just opened mm. oh most of Kampala residents were running shop right mm. today shop right did 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 even close it closed I think after failing to faring well so even Chai Chinatown shouldn't scare our usual traders. It is a matter of just time. They will also cross like other, uh, <laughs> those other bigger uh, uh, shops have crossed. Mm. Yeah. Okay, wow. So you're still with me, Jacob Junior Munges and Habib Buwembo. I want you to give your final remarks to our dear audience outside there before we leave them. Yeah, uh, uh, the audience that has been following us, well, first of all, we pray that uh, you, realize, you realize the danger that comes with corruption. Corruption is a killer disease that kills even more than AIDS does. Mm -hmm. Yes. The people who lose lives on a daily, on those roads in uh, road accidents, are losing lives because of corruption. There is someone, a certain person, who stole the money that was meant to construct a wider road and uh, what is happening today because of uh, narrow roads are accidents claiming most, many lives. People who are dying in hospitals because of failure uh, to get uh, the, the, the necessary medication, medicine, medication uh, is because of corruption somewhere. People who are uh, getting inadequate education, it is because of the, the so-called corrupt officials. Mm. So, my call is that let us all raise up mm. and say no to corruption. Don't just stop at saying no, but move ahead to act against corruption. If we resolved together as, a, as, the, as the public to fight down corruption, it is possible. Just uh, imagine a situation. Uh, if uh, Anita entered the church and she's denied the seed, won't she go home and uh, ask herself for the reasons that as to why she's denied the seed? So you don't want that. To don't happen? you think that she will need, uh, have to to reform? Just imagine a situation when she entered a certain supermarket and the supermarket says we are not selling to you. 
you are corrupt. Can that happen? <laughs> yeah, you see, if we realize the dangers that comes with corruption, mm. and we denied any entertainment to, to the corrupt ones, mm. I can tell you, it can, it can, it is possible. How we fought down COVID is the same way how we have fight down corrupt okay. officials. COVID wasn't even more dangerous than corruption. How many people lost lives because of COVID? But how much money did we invest in, co in fighting down COVID? How much attention did we give COVID? How much restrictions did, you, did we put in the line of fighting down COVID? You get it? So if we, uh, if we do what is required in fighting down corruption, it is, it is possible to live in a corrupt free country. Wow, that has been Muembo Habib. Now, thank you so much, our listeners and viewers, uh, for following us. You can find us on MGD TV, that's on YouTube, MGD Media on X, MGD Media on TikTok, MGD Media on Facebook. So you can get us on all those platforms and get to know and receive a lot of information from the team here at MGD. We're always here to give you information about everything that happens in the country and even outside the country, but that's helpful to me and you. So we are MGD TV, and as we promised, we shall be giving everything that happens. Never to skip anything. Never to skip any information that comes around. Otherwise, this has been the PowerPoint Show with I, Jacob Jr. Mungesi, and Habib Buembo. Till next time, we'll see you.